This tutorial will show you how to dispense a medication to a patient in a cash transaction scenario. Hover over the Dispense tab and select New Order. This will start a new dispensing transaction. If this is the first time the patient has visited, you can enter their details below and their patient file will automatically be saved for their next visit. If this is a patient that has visited before, type their last name in the applicable field and a drop-down menu will appear with all matching results. Select the correct patient and their information will populate in the fields below. All fields indicated with the color red are required. If you are dispensing controlled medications and your state has a PDMP in place, you may be required to enter additional information before you are able to complete the dispensing transaction. If you have more than one provider at your facility, you will need to select the physician who met with and prescribed the medication to the patient. If the patient's preferred language is Spanish, you can select Spanish in the language drop-down. This will cause a majority of the medication's label information to be printed in Spanish. Make sure all information is accurate before proceeding. When you are satisfied with your patient selection, click the Proceed to Cart button. You can also use the Steps option to navigate to the next step. If you have a barcode scanner, make sure your cursor is in the Scan field and scan the medication bottle to add it to your dispensing cart. If you do not have a barcode scanner, you can simply click on the Browse Inventory link to select a medication from your available inventory. You can select a medication by clicking on the shopping cart icon next to the medication you wish to dispense. Make sure the lot number you are selecting matches the lot on the bottle so your inventory levels are always correct. Repeat these same steps for any additional medications you need to add to the cart. Before moving on to the next step, make sure that the SIG line is correct. The SIG line should be written out in layman's terms versus pharmacy shorthand so that the patient clearly understands how to take the medication. For example, instead of saying take P-O-B-I-D-A-C-Q-O-D, you would write take orally twice a day before meals every other day. Next, enter the day's supply based on the SIG instructions. For example, if the bottle has 30 pills and the instructions state to take one pill twice a day, then the medication would be a 15-day supply. When all information is entered to your satisfaction, click the Proceed to DUR button or the Step link. DUR stands for Drug Utilization Review. This is an optional step which will allow you to cross-check the medications you are dispensing against any of the patient's indicated allergies, medications they are currently taking, or any illness or condition they are experiencing to ensure that there will not be a negative or harmful reaction to the medications you plan to dispense. For example, if the patient indicates that they are allergic to penicillin and you attempt to dispense amoxicillin, you will receive a warning indicating the potential problems that may occur if you proceed. If you receive a warning, consult with the physician prior to proceeding. It may mean a different therapeutically equivalent medication should be dispensed instead. If everything checks out, proceed to the checkout screen. The checkout screen indicates that the medications have successfully been dispensed. Since this is a cash transaction, each medication should have a patient price displayed. This is the amount that the patient will pay for the cash transaction. Upon receipt of payment from the patient, you can enter the payment below in the fields provided, or use the itemize option 
to enter a payment next to each specific medication instead of entering the value as a lump sum. Once payment has been entered, make sure you have labels loaded in the printer and click the Print Pharmacy Label button. This will bring up a pop-up window that will allow you to print a label for each medication dispensed during this transaction. Now let's review the pharmacy label and other printable options available on this screen. This is a sample of the pharmacy label you will print when dispensing medication from the software. Since Spanish was selected as the patient's default language, you will notice that a majority of the text in this example is translated automatically into Spanish. The top right sticker is the patient medication label, which can be placed on the bottle over top of the existing Adirex label. The top left sticker can be entered into a patient file or chart instead of having to hand write all of the details manually. The Adorex bottle comes with four peel-off logbook stickers for your convenience. You can add one of the four labels to the patient chart as further proof that they received the medication. The medication-specific contraindications will print out on the middle set of stickers. After removing the log stickers from the bottle label, they can be affixed in their place or placed on the back of the med guide instructions. This label is an extra log sticker. If you utilize patient charts in conjunction with an electronic file, the barcode can be used to bring up the patient in MD scripts the next time you dispense, instead of searching for them manually by last name. This is an optional sticker for the patient file, which confirms whether or not they require additional counseling for the medication being dispensed. The entire bottom section is a perforated tearaway sheet, which contains all of the medication warnings and usage indications, or more commonly referred to as the MedGuide instructions. This section is given to the patient along with their medication. If the patient cannot read the fine print on the MedGuide instructions, back at the checkout screen, you can click the Print Monographs button to print just the bottom portion of the label in a slightly larger font. The monograph should be printed on a blank 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper instead of using a pharmacy label. On the pharmacy label, if the patient indicated that they require additional counseling for their medications, you can click the Print Label Warnings to review the medication's usage instructions and potential side effects with the patient. This form will also print in Spanish if that is their preferred language. If the patient would like a copy of their invoice, you can click the Print Invoice button. Now that you've completed the dispensing transaction and have provided the patient with all applicable documentation, to start a new dispensing transaction for another patient, simply hover over the Dispense tab, select New Order, and repeat the steps in this tutorial for the next patient.